When I saved my ex from suicide, I didn't feel like a hero. There was no honor in making someone feel like dying and refusing to let them. I remember it like it was yesterday. You see, I've always been a light sleeper. So when I heard the constant knocks, I figured you were expecting friends. When I opened my eyes to see you hanging, I quickly realized that me and death were the only invited guest here, and there you hung. Your face a blue sky without oxygen. Your body an earthquake of convulsions tremoring, and I knew it was my thoughts that got you here. For two years, I've tried to write about my ex's attempt at suicide, and this is as far as I've gotten. This is when it becomes too hard, a knot in my throat. Too heavy, a burden to carry. Too hard, a reality to relive for two years. I've tried to make this pain sound poetic, triggering myself back into trauma for the sake of writing a good piece. This poem has eaten me whole for years. And here I am, still trying to get through a piece of my brokenness. Do you know what it's like to watch a black man hang and have no lynch mob to point the finger to? <laughs> Shit. A good 